today I'm going to teach you guys how to upgrade the firmware on the Jinlong Solus three phase inverters. All right, it's pretty simple. There's just one thing you really need, um, and that is the update stick. You have a four pin at the top, USB at the bottom. On the front, you have three LEDs. On the back, you have a reset button, and on the side, you have a pinout. And this comes with special cable, so you can do the pinout uh, firmware upgrades. But typically, if you're a customer in the field, you won't be using that. You'll be using the USB on the bottom. Our firmware has already been loaded on the USB stick. All you have to do is plug it in. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the video right there. It's really important that the firmware update file is placed on a clean USB stick. No files, no folders. You can even format it in Windows if you want to. Um, but just make sure there's nothing else on there except the firmware update file. The second thing with that firmware update file, it is critical that you rename it what Jinlong service tells you to rename it. It may be something like hmi.bin, hmi underscore wifi.bin, um, something along those lines. When we initially send the firmware files out, they have a totally different file name that identifies what kind of file it is. The issue is when we upload it into the inverters, it requires a specific file name for the inverters to recognize it as a firmware update. So whatever we tell you to name it, please name it that. Otherwise your firmware update will fail. All right, that's all. Let's get back to this. Pretty easy. Maybe it's easy. There we go. All right, we're all plugged in, we're ready to go. Um, the upgrade's on here, firmware sticks ready to go, inverse DC is on, and we're gonna upgrade that firmware now. All right, over here we have an inverter that has, is in the on position, DC disconnects in the on position. These guys are powered up by the DC side. So you do not need AC. Matter of fact, I recommend turning off the AC when you're messing with the settings and just leaving the DC on. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go to the settings, we're gonna check the firmware on this guy. Um, I can tell you just by what's on the screen that we have an older style inverter. This is current HMI version is 21. Um, so we don't have the information we need on here. Um, we can't update the grid code to like ISO Northeast or anything else. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that update. It's really easy, really quick. Okay, on the bottom of the inverter, we have this guy right here. This is the communication port. You're going to unscrew that communication port. And you're gonna open this up. There we go. Your stick has the LEDs on the front, reset button on the back. And all you're gonna do here Make sure the reset button is facing backwards, LEDs are facing forwards, you're going to plug it in. This is threaded, do not try and screw this on. Got it? Don't screw it on. Just plug it in, it should stay there just fine. Okay. After that happens, you should see these lights light up, okay? See that? You have a red light, a green light, and a yellow light which is not lit up right now. Alright, in order to get that light to light up, you need to hold down the back of this thing uh, for a good amount of time. You gotta press pretty firmly. You're gonna see the lights change as you're holding down on this. And what you're looking for is the yellow and green light to be lit up. You want it to look just like that. Okay, it does take a little bit of time, but that's what you wanna see. After you have that, you're gonna push that button on the back one more time. There we go. Lights start flashing. That's what you want to happen. You want those lights to start flashing. On the display screen, you go to Enter, Settings, you go to Updater, Enter. HR version is currently 21, says Update System, hit Enter, hit Enter again. And now you want to double check those lights. Make sure those lights down here are still flashing. Good, still flashing. Up here, also good. All right. Once your firmware update's finished, you'll see your display come back on. You should have a red and a yellow light up here. Down at the bottom, 
This is a sonic success. You have a red, green, and yellow LED, all solid. If the firmware update failed, you would only have a red LED. So this is a good sign. This means that our firmware update worked. All right, let's double check our firmware update. Enter, so we go to settings. You can see this screen has completely changed. We want to go to HMI update, and boom, it's not 21 anymore, it is now 2F, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to happen. So this firmware update succeeded. You can remove this guy, gently pull him out, and then screw this back in. And you're done. Your firmware update's complete. Um, if you're doing this for a grid setting or something like that, you can check out a different video to see how to set the grid standard. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you have questions about this video or other questions completely unrelated to this video, please reach out to us via email at usservice at jinlong.com or you can go to our interactive web portal at usservice.jinlong.com. Both those links will be in the description down below. Please let us know if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions. If you just want to tell us thank you, please reach out to us. Thank you very much.